Today, we're talking camping hacks. Five tips and tricks to make your camp life a little bit easier. What's up guys? As you can see, I'm still in the old Ranger at the moment. Massive thanks to everyone who commented on my video about my car predicament. There were so many comments and I appreciate every single one of them. You'll be happy to know I've been testing both D-Maxes and newer Rangers, but haven't come across the right one just yet. To be honest, they're making me appreciate the old girl more than anything, but I'm sure the perfect one will come along soon. Anyway, today we're talking camping hacks. I've been camping for a few years now, not as long as some of you, I'm sure, but long enough to pick up a couple of tips and tricks that I use all the time. So I thought, why not share five of those with you today? And let's get straight into it. Now, I'm sure every camper has run out of gas halfway through cooking up a meal at least once. It's an easy thing to happen because I mean, you guys might be better at judging this than I am, but I couldn't tell you if there's a quarter or a 10th left in this bottle. But what if I told you there was a way to check exactly how much gas is left in the cylinder using gear you have around camp? Hack number one is brought to you by my very own dad who used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Firstly, boil your kettle. Very important, make sure you don't watch it or it will never boil. Next, pour hot water down the front of the gas bottle like this. And then feel the temperature of the cylinder. Where you feel the cylinder get cool is where your gas level is. Easy as that. All right, on to the next tip. The next hack is to make use of Velcro. But Daniel, you've already got Velcro. They're not ready for those just yet. No, what I'm talking about is using Velcro to mount things around your camping setup. Pretty much every canopy and four-wheel drive fit out is covered in carpet, mine included. And what that means is that with a bit of Velcro and some creativity, you can pretty much mount anything small anywhere. A couple of things I've used it on is this deck of playing cards which sticks up on my false wall here and my Bluetooth speaker which normally lives here but sometimes I stick it to the front of my pantry. So many options. I even made up some cargo organisers a while back which work great for keeping things from sliding around on my drawers. Next on the list is definitely more of a tip than a hack and it's to do with how you put in your sand pegs. If you're camping in boggy sand, it doesn't matter how chunky your sand peg is, the wind will still rip it out and leave your tent or awning flapping in the breeze. So to stop them coming out, grab a shovel and dig down till you find more solid sand and bang your sand pegs in there instead. If the sand is really soft, chucking a log or rock on top and burying it helps too. While we're talking about tying things down, have you guys ever been camping in windy situations and wished you had an extra guy rope? Why are all these hacks starting to sound like infomercials? Have you ever wished you had an extra guy rope while camping? Well, for only $9.99, you can use a ratchet strap from your toolbox. And if you call in the next three and a half seconds, I'll come down to your camp myself and set up your awning. Ah, sorry, too late. In all seriousness though, ratchet straps work really well as makeshift guy ropes. Most people carry a few on board anyway, and they've certainly got us out of trouble in the past. Crazy wind, so just uh, strapping the tent down. Oh, the weather's coming in bad. Last but not least is a bit of a storage tip for your herbs and spices. Now, I used to carry mine around in the original containers they come in, and let me just tell you, they are not meant for off-road travel. My entire pantry is now scented with a lovely concoction of rosemary and thyme, because these lids pop open so easily, pour your herbs and spices everywhere, and they're just no good. So my solution here is to go to Kmart, or maybe a grandma's house, and pick up one of these weekly pill organizers. Give me a good one, Santa. Oh! Bloody kids! 
These will store up to seven secret herbs and spices. The lids feel much more secure so your spices shouldn't go everywhere and they take up hardly any room. Anyway guys, hopefully you found one or two of those tips useful. I know they've been blowing Bianca's mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, but if you have any of your own as well, chuck them in the comments down below because we love to read them and hear about them and learn. Absolutely, I can make a video testing out your camping hacks. Oh yeah, that will be fun. Yeah. I like that idea. And hey, if you just bought your first four wheel drive and are wondering what mods to do first, check out this video here, Bianca's dodging the videos. <laughs> or something a bit different, check out this video instead. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy camping!